STEAM Science Technology Engineering Arts Math The East Metro STEAM Partnership envisions an East Multnomah community where children, youth, and adults have equitable access to engaging science, technology, engineering, art, and math learning. This is what STEAM looks like when we put it into action in the field. Research shows kids decide at a surprisingly young age whether science is for them. They're deciding like early elementary school, like, can I be a scientist? It's teaching kids to think in a different way and it's giving them an outlet to be creative in a completely different way. It's important to be able to bring opportunities early and often out into the community. In the All Kids Are Scientists at the Library program, we're highlighting two of our, our units. So we've got our forensic science. They're getting to basically be detectives. So they're getting to really hone their observational skills. They're using critical and creative thinking. So they're using all the skills that it takes to be a good scientist, to, to engage with new things that they're discovering about these topics. Basically, like, this place is, like, really fun because I want to be a scientist when I grow up. It's, like, my favorite thing to do. We put on some, like, Vaseline on our fingers so then we'd have enough oils to make the finger print. I like the invisible ink more because we can draw invisible arts. And we wrote secret messages to each other. I think it's really cool that I get to be a manager kind of behind the scenes and see all of the different pieces put together. But I also think as a mother to hear my son come home with the different um, take home activities and share with his little brother and talk to us about, you know, I can be a scientist at eight or nine. When I'm being a detective, I like work hard to be a detective. The kids go through the whole process of the garden, so prepping a bed, seeding the crop, um, thinning or weeding, and then being able to harvest. My favorite part was planting. I remember one time when I plant, my whole hand was covered in dirt. So we've been learning lots of different like kinds of fruits and vegetables and like how things reproduce and grow. So today the hands-on was moving from tasting the rainbow and learning about nutrition, all the different colors that we eat, and how they translate into different vitamins and minerals for our body. The onion tasting plant I thought was going to taste like nothing, but when I tasted it the first time it tasted really good and I actually liked it. It was really surprising that there's lots of different fruit colors and vegetable colors that I didn't really know of. Photosynthesis is a huge one for the kids to actually see something growing over time in the different stages. And learning about where seeds come from. And it gave me tips about how I could make gardens on my own. In this workshop, I would say we're tackling the technology and art element of STEAM. They're consuming so much media and I think it's very important to kind of flip the table and have them be the ones creating their stories and creating media. They're having to think critically, they're having to think collaboratively, and they're being really creative about the decisions and the choices they're making to tell the story that they are trying to create. It, it's unbelievable. Uh, you can see it in their eyes, they just love what they're doing and they were really creative in making their own stories. And I've seen a couple of kids get really invigorated by the workshops that we've done uh, over the past six weeks. My favorite part in this workshop is working together and having fun. The most fun part about working with my team is that having the ideas and all the actors and the bloopers are just the best. Setting the props all together, we're working as a team. The kids love it, I love it, and it's, it's crazy sometimes, but crazy's good. Three, two, one, action. Getting youth involved in math and science and technology early allows them to start thinking about, like, they can do this.
if I had had this kind of class, if I, when I was in fifth grade, I would have known kind of the direction of my life even. And the more we're able to reach out to them in different environments outside of their classrooms or outside of their home, the more engaged we can get them. Giving them the opportunity to develop that excitement and to gain that knowledge that lets them keep exploring towards so many opportunities in the future. Artists and scientists, gardeners and storytellers, designers and engineers. Together they make a powerful contribution to the world we all want to live in.